the merge functionality in CRM has and always has always been fairly limited. Um, so we try to extend upon it and just fix all the things that over time we've come to learn need improvement. Uh, the best way to do it is to simply show you. So I'm going to look at leads here. CRM limitations at the moment are you can only merge within an account, a contact, a lead or a case. Um, you can only merge two at a time. So I'd have to follow the laborious process of doing two, 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 and that's only those four. With these records here, it would take a long time. Uh, another limitation is that you can only select within the same field. So you can only pick from record A or B. Um, all these deter people from completing their merges, which just cause issues with data. So instead, we've built the multi-record merge. So I can now see these four records are duplicates. If I select them all, I've now got this new merge functionality here. I can press this merge and it pops me up a new window. This is now the multi-record merge window. It's aimed, it's styled based on the original, but with some vast improvements. You can see here we're merging four leads, and here you can see the four leads. We've also got a fifth column, which is the output. This is what your end record is going to look like. It's built up from a set of rules that you can configure that will be in a separate video. And we can edit the output record as and where we need. So we can see here, for example, we've now selected Mark with a K. In actual fact, we think it is Mark with a C, even though it's less common. So I can now drag that into the master record. You notice when I dragged it, that it went yellow. That means that I could actually drag this into any of the, any of the yellow fields. This is, this is validated, so you can only do a string into a string field, etc. Um, same with an option set, I can only do an option set into an option set. This gives me the ability to, if I decided to actually move this phone to there instead, I can cross field. Another th option I've got is that I can change these entirely. So even though I've got the four leads there, I can actually change this and say, I can type wherever I want. I can also determine that I've, even though I've got four warm leads, I can make that a hot lead instead because it's more important. Uh, the final extra thing that's interesting is up here, I've got master and make master. So this is the record that will stay alive at the end. It's picked on again based on a pre-configured rule, but this can be customized if you wish. Once I'm happy with the output record, I can go to the bottom and I can press merge. This is using all the out the box merge functionality behind the scenes. So you can now see if I go to close leads, I've got three close leads of which say they're merged. I can now go to the merge record. You'll see that I've got the hot thing I changed. I've got the custom topic and all the fields in the right place. It will take time for whoever's in your team to set up the rules. But once you have faith, you can now speed the process up even more. You can now select all your records. And here, you'll see I've got a quick merge. This will do the same thing, except it will bypass the pop-up window. If I press that, you have to wait for a second for it to run. And I've now merged that. That's took a best guess at all, at all the records. If I look at closed leads, you can now see that within there, I've got all the closed duplicates that I can open. And they've all merged through to this, this one single record. The amount of time that's saved merging 10 records is huge from, CR, from seeing CRM. Um, earlier on, I also mentioned that you could only do certain fields, uh, certain entities, accounts, contacts, leading opportunities, and, uh, and cases, sorry. So now what I can do instead, I can go to opportunities and I've now built the functionality into an opportunity, so I can now merge them with the same window. The configure rules you can see here, I've actually summed these two, summed these two revenues, where it's instead you would have to have picked one or the other. I can now merge these. And once they've merged through, you can now see I've got a single opportunity. And finally, custom entities. So I've now got two custom entities set up with children. This one has three sub-records. This other record has seven. I can now decide to quick merge these if I want to. I've now got a single entity that's got all 10 children. So this is the multi-record merge. I'm sure you can see just how much extra it will bring to your CRM system. We have also now extended the actual duplicate detection itself. 
So the if I navigate to the data rate record, it's easier showing you than anything else. So you can now see I'm in data rate and I took a phone call, so I'd like to make a new person. So I took a phone call from a Bob Smith. And I'm entering him his RCRM system. So I'm doing Bob Smith. You can already see I've not even clicked out the field and I've already got a warning say that it's a possible duplicate. For some reason I've still ignored that and I've continued to type because I don't care about duplicates, it's not my problem. So I keep going, I try, I try and save this and you'll see the window, this is the window that you're used to seeing. The duplicate's detected, this is standard within CRM. You can see here the duplicate it's found is actually with a Robert Smith. So that is fuzzy name matched Bob to Robert. Like, Within CRM, I've never seen it out of the box possible to do that. It's just too complex. At this point, a problem with CRM, however, is what do you do here? You can either make a duplicate, even though it's told you there's a duplicate there, or you can just lose your work, neither of which are ideal. You don't want to be making duplicates to then fix them. So using the functionality you saw earlier in the multi-record merge, we now have a merge button here. If I press merge, this is the same window you saw before, except this time we have this record here. This is not even a real record. This is just the record that is on the page right now, not saved. The idea for this is that I don't want to throw that away. That was, in, that, that was an important bit of data I got during that call. I don't want to make a duplicate and resolve it because I'll probably forget. So let's take the data right now as a merge and I'll merge it. What this will do now is that we'll copy data across. It will close the record that doesn't exist and we'll load up the existing record with the new data that I've just put inside. An extra nicety that we decided to make in the system is that sometimes it's very difficult to remember what records you want to merge. Um, the only way you can really do it is you have to find them in the same advanced finds, you have to tick through and use the merge functionality. It's not ideal. So instead, we've got a nice little feature called remember these records. So I've now got an account, these are records, and I can remember this record. I've now got a second account that says that we want. And again, I can remember this record. And finally, to combine. So this is three records that I've decided that I do want to combine together. The only real way of doing it is finding some sort of advanced find that would get them all on the screen at the same time. But now, with this remember this record, I can now merge my remembered. Same window we're used to seeing now. And there's the three records we selected. These are records that we want to combine. I can now pick up a master version of these and I can merge them as I want to.